Welcome back once again, Spazites, to another Throwback Thursday. And if you're old like me, you recognize these things. These are Battle Beasts. These were originally in Japan, part of the Transformers Generation 1 line of cartoons. It's a spin-off. The uh, Transformers actually went to a planet and met these little guys, and then they got their own cartoon in Japan. And uh, I think they got a cartoon here in America, but it was completely unrelated to the Transformers, as far as I can remember. We're going to have to do a little research. I didn't. I just kind of decided to do this off of out of the blue. So we're just going to review the ones that I have. If you follow me over on Instagram, you have seen all of these guys, because I posted pictures. Uh, I had a box of a bunch of old G1 stuff that I'm not even sure where I got it. Because uh, it wasn't originally mine. I think it might have been my friend's from his old storage unit. Either that or I found a box of G1 stuff at a at a garage sale or something. There's just there's not like any full G1 Transformer things in there. They're all like bits and pieces and mostly full. And then there's some other stuff like there's a GoBot. There's a there's a mask figure. There's a few other things. Like I said, it's over on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, number one gizmo. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check out our Battle Beast collection here. Uh, I also had a uh, an ex-girlfriend of mine gave me a bunch that she had for somehow, some reason. She just kind of gave them to me one day because she knew I love old toys. So... <clears throat> I don't know. I've got a bunch of Battle Beasts. I do have one duplicate, and we'll go over that, and I'll probably do him on a random giveaway in the future. So he'll be part of whatever grab bag I do a giveaway of in the future. But let's uh, let's start with this guy that I already got in my hand. He's a little bulldog. Now this one is missing a sticker. A lot of them are missing their little rub stickers. If you are familiar with Battle Beasts, you know that uh, they were... Hasbro... Is that a year? What year is this? 1987. Hasbro. Takara. But yeah, uh, they're they're kind of like a, a paper, rock, scissors, except they're fire, wood, and water. So fire beats wood, wood beats water, water beats fire. So it's just, it's rock, paper, scissors, but with the elements. Kind of like Pokemon, uh, except Pokemon is, what is it? Grass, water, fire. So, wood and grass are basically the same thing. These are the first Pokemon ever made. <laughs> oh, I, I like to think that that actually is the case. This is very much where Pokemon got its idea from rock, paper, scissors, and then just added a ton. And then we got rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock, right? Or is it uh, rock, paper, scissors, is there three of them, or is it just lizard, Spock? I think there's three more that, uh, well, yeah. Basically, yeah, Pokemon added added on to rock, paper, scissors, or fire, wood, and water. <clears throat> anyway, here we got a little bulldog guy. He is missing his little rub sign. Unfortunately, the guys that I do have rub signs on... What is that noise? Cole, are you in here? I keep hearing a noise in my videotape room here. It sounds like rustling. I think Cole might be in here. We have a new kitten, and uh, Cole does not like cats, so there's that. Anyway, here's our bulldog. We're going to put him off to the side here. Put him in the back with my uh, my Creo. <clears throat> here we have, I love this guy. He's a tarantula. I think he's from a later wave. Uh, he actually has an open hand. Uh, again, I don't have any of the weapons that come with any of these figures either. Each figure would come with a weapon and a rub sign. And once again, he doesn't have a rub sign. This one actually does not have the hole in the bottom of the foot, so you can't place him on one of the compatible... Uh, that's what the little holes in the bottom of the foot for this guy were. Because you could place them on compatible vehicles and play sets and stuff, and the little foot peg would hold them in place. Where is his? Oh, his uh, information is on the back here. It still says Hasbro Takara. That one says 85, I think, or 88. It's really hard to focus. I think that says 86. I'm not sure. 86 or 88. But yeah, I don't know why the 87 one would have... 
I don't know. But here's a tarantula guy. He looks pretty wicked to me. Uh, next we have, and I believe this was one of the leader figures, uh, at least on whatever animated thing they had. He still has his rub sticker, but like I said, it doesn't... Oh! it. Wait a second, did it just... Oh! It works! The rub sticker works! Oh, all I did was put my finger on it and it lit up. That is a wood, and he is a lion with a uh, one-eye. He's a one-eyed lion, but he's he's wood. Oh, that is so cool. He also doesn't have the... Uh, the button on the back of his feet, or the information, here's his information that's printed on his legs. Let me see if I can, uh, maybe the, they started putting the hole in them later. That says 86, and I know that first one we looked at said 87. So, next we have a seahorse. He is missing his rub stamp. But uh, I know none of my old Transformers, like any G1 figures I have, their rub signs don't work anymore. Uh, he's from 87. He's got the hole in his foot. So he's from a different series. Here we have a giraffe. He's pretty cool. Ooh, he's got his rub sticker. Does his still work? It does. He's fire. Oh, this is so cool. I did not try these out. <laughs> I, I thought I tried one out and it didn't work, but this is... This is so cool that these rub stickers still work on these guys. Okay, he's one of the older ones from the other line. If I can find... Where's his information printed? Huh. I don't even know where his information is printed, so... I think it might be on the back of his neck here. That looks like writing. 86. Yeah, Hasbro 86. So, he doesn't have the hole in his foot. Here we have a cool flying figure. He's uh, some sort of hawk or eagle. And uh, he's got some cool gauntlet hooks. And no hole. He's got a four on his butt for some reason. Uh, here's his printing is on his wings. Makes sense. And uh, his, he's also 86 with no hole. Let's see, here we have another, I do not know what this is. I think it's a bat, maybe? Some sort of mongoose? Let's see what his, uh, what his faction is. His faction is water. The water one's pretty plain. I like the fire and the wood better. But his wings are actually attached to his arms. I think those are wings. I don't know if he's a rat, a mongoose. I don't know. I'm going to have to look up some, some of these and see what they're, uh, what they're related to. This is the guy I have a duplicate of. The other one does not have his his heat signature. Oh, that's much better. Look at the difference between these two water symbols. Yeah, I like his water symbol a lot better. He's got the hole in his foot from 87. He's also got a hole in his foot. And I think there were three waves of these guys. This guy's also 87. Why do they have such different water symbols? That is interesting. I need to look these up a little more. <laughs> I did not do any research. Let's see, what is this guy, an elk? A cow? I think he's a cow. He's got the cooler water symbol. That's cool. And he's from 87. He's some sort of cow or bull. I think he's a cow. Let's see what else. We Ooh, I like this guy. I remember I had this guy as a kid. He's a snake. And he can actually hold weapons in both hands. His uh, hands are actual snake heads. So he's a three-headed snake, except two of his heads hold weapons. Uh, oh, his is already on. He's got the fire symbol. I had another one with the fire symbol. Where is it? I want to see. Are they the same? Yeah, they have the same fire symbol right now. Okay, so he's cool. Let's see. He doesn't have a hole. Uh, Hasbro 86. So it looks like the 87 ones have the hole in their feet, and the 86 ones do not. Here's another winged guy. I do not... What is that? A pelican? Not a pelican. I don't know. It's another bird of some sort. He's got the fire symbol. His his is already lit up. When you touch it, it, it gets a little brighter. That's a much different fire symbol, though. I know that's a different fire symbol than these guys. Yeah, that one looks really different. Let's see. He's got the hole in his foot. They don't. Yeah, so he's got a hole in his foot. 
He's got a different fire symbol. Cool. Ooh, this is Randy's favorite, because she loves purple and she loves elephants. We have an elephant with a hammer for a hand. And no hole. Takara86, Hasbro. And does have a symbol. You can tell just by looking that it's wood. Uh, huh. That one doesn't work. Come on. No, that one doesn't work, and it seems like it went away. I could tell it was wood before, and then it went away, so... <laughs> let's see. We're at ten minutes already, so let's hurry this up. We got a gorilla here. Let's see what his symbol reads. Uh, can't tell. It's, uh, his is worn out as well. Uh, no holes. He is from 86. Uh, we got a frog here with a spear on one hand. That's pretty cool. Does this, this his symbol work? He should be water because he's a frog. He's an amphibian. Uh, his symbol doesn't work. No holes in the feet. We're not going to bother about that. Here we have a boar. He's pretty cool. Uh, his symbol looks really worn out. Yeah, we're not going to bother with that. No holes in the feet. <clears throat> okay, we are almost done here, so... Uh, kangaroo! That's got to be a kangaroo. Except, look at that hand. He's got uh, no rub symbol. Hole in the foot. So he's he's got to be one of the newer ones then, right? 87, yep. Let's see, here we have a tiger, I think. Or cheetah, perhaps. I don't know, they're... Their paint schemes aren't that on. So, 87. And, uh, yeah, just a few more. Here's our duplicate without the rub sign. I'm going to put him to the side there. Uh, here we have a deer. Or some sort of antlered animal. You can see that he's a wood, a wood-type Pokemon. And his rub sign disappeared once I touched it as well. Uh, here we have uh, an octopus, I think, except... He's not very octopus-like, but I'm pretty sure that's... Oh, wait, you know what? That might be... He might be a gopher. You can see that he's a water type. Uh, he might be a mole. You know, like a mole that digs in the ground. I love his uh, mechanical hand here. That's pretty cool. It is pretty beat up, but it still looks cool. And let's see. Last but not least, we've got Sharkman. He's a great white shark, I'm assuming. Uh, his rub sign is... The only thing that's left is the backer for the rub sign. The rub sign's completely gone otherwise. But here he is, a scaly one. He's got no foothold. And he is also from 86. Takara Hasbro. So, yeah. That's my collection of Battle Beasts uh, for Throwback Thursday. Anyway, let me know what Battle Beasts you have, if you have any. Which ones do you want? Do you have any that are a... Uh, like a, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, a holy grail of Battle Beasts. I know my holy grail is... Uh, there was this kid I knew when I was really young, when I was also a kid, who had this big, like, base or carrying case base for them, and I was very envious of him. I would even go so far as to say jealous. Uh, as a child, I, I was jealous of a lot because... We didn't have a lot when I was a little kid, which is why I'm so addicted to children's toys now. <laughs> because now I can have them. Because I'm an adult and I can buy what I want. Anyway, till next time, thanks for watching, everybody. And as usual, be kind, happy hunting, and goodbye. Wash your hands, wear your mask, goodbye.